EA Sports presents the Nextel Direct Connect Halftime Report. Nextel, get right through. Yes, it is that time. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Nextel Halftime Report. Jim Nance from our NFL Today studio. It's along with uh, Mike Ditka, Randy Cross, Jerry Glanville. Are you ready? Good to be here, brother. <laughs> okay, good, good this to is live. You. This is live. And we'll make Mike, how about them Browns Bears? Well, I'll tell you, this is old fashioned football. I mean, the Browns get on the board first on a turnover, but the Bears come right back before the end of the half. A train is running the football, 17 for 43. Not a lot of yards, but they're doing the right things. All right, let's go around the league. By the way, Doug Flutie shaken up on a sack, and Drew Brees is in there right now, waiting word on Flutie for the rest of the way. How about the Chiefs, though, Randy? This is just about a physical tail whipping right now between Dick Vermeil's Kansas City Chiefs and the really no-show so far San Diego Chargers. All right, meanwhile, Seattle and Washington talk about no-show. Hasselback picked twice, and the Redskins getting a running game today, too, from Davis, 81 yards and a touch. Yeah, but watch the Redskins here. Fake that fake that go down inside three fakes and you got a touchdown to the tight end Ooh. Ooh, how about that the Eagles trying to avenge a loss four weeks ago to Arizona and McNabb has thrown two touchdowns they up by 14 Lions got a interception return and a run back Robert Bailey of a Garcia pass looking for the first win of the season big win on the season for the Ravens today Mike well it was I mean here, here you get Cunningham gets Shannon Sharp but the difference in this football game is this guy right here Brown misses four out of five field goals glad are you that you've got a field goal kicker who's done it 34 straight games. Everybody has a role. It, it takes a whole roster. And what a great day for football. Anytime you come to Pittsburgh, you just you get a great day. You get a great football game. And uh, obviously, uh, we're just thrilled to have it. Bernstein there, and Matt Stover won it. But down in Tennessee, Mark Brunell had a good game, but Steve McNair had a better game. The Titans had the ball for 37 minutes in this game. McNair, two rushing, two passing touchdowns. Speaking of rushing, how about Peyton Manning? Man, forget about Peyton. He became Archie right about here. Look at that speed. And to get it in, he becomes Brother Eli. The whole family scores. 33 yards, and here's Edron James' replacement, Dominique Rhodes. And the Rhodes hustle on down for 100 yards. Down in Atlanta, Tom Brady impressive again for the Patriots. He he was not only good, he was lucky. Watch this. Doink! Here goes the ball. <laughs> the little deflection. And this ends up a touchdown. And Brady put his hands in his head. He said, I am lucky. He Ooh. threw two legitimate ones, three overall. And the Panthers down in Miami lost. Well, as good as the Carolina Panthers were last week against the Jets, not this week. Three minutes to go at Green Bay, Mike. Allen Ross, a 55-yard prime return. This puts a stake right in the box. Leslie Visser was there. He said, hey, you know what? If we get another punt return, don't worry about the short kicks. Don't worry about it this far. You just get the ball, and we're going to give you time. And I just believe those guys. That's what a big part of this game is about, is believing those guys in front of me. Cowboys and Giants overtime. And here it was, the best Dane on the field. Was it Ron Dane, the running back? It was the kicker in overtime. Yes, Morton Anderson from 42 yards. Biggest comeback for the Giants since 1986. They come wow. back from 17 down to win it. Thanks for being with us on the Nextel Halftime Report. CBA Sports presents the Nextel Direct Connect Halftime Report. Nextel, get right through.